Okay guys, what we're gonna do is that we're going to take these old slippers right here. You see they all crusted out and poured all of the fur off of them. I made these um, last year, last summer, and I have the channel video with that, well the video to show you that I made these, but I couldn't get all of this off of here with all of this glue off of here. So I'm like, you know what, I don't wanna throw them away because as you can see, I still can use these for the summer. So what I did was revamp them, and this is what they look like now. And I will give you a, sh a whole body, well, foot model for you when I'm done. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need some feathers. And this right here is the six foot feather boa that you're gonna need. I also have fur, because everybody know I use fur to make my boots, so I have fur I got from Joanne Fabrics, and what I did was just cut it to the length that I needed to go across the whole thing, and that's going to go on there first, and you're, then I'm going to place this boa there, then you're also going to need some glue sticks, you're going to need some scissors, and of course, a glue gun so I'm gonna gather all of my material and we're not gonna move this we just revamping them so so we can get this and then we're gonna be doing some trimming so I'm gonna gather all of my material together and I'll be right back if you want to stay for the video and you want to learn how I did it to make them look like they're really 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 nice and furry and afro like and big cuz big is in now just stay tuned for the video okay so I cut the piece that I need to go across here, but of course it goes really far over and I want that. This is what I want it to go over. So what I'm going to do is put it at an angle that I know that I'm able to work with and I see that this is fine. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you see this is going to hang over that way, but once, once we're done, we're going to cut it straight across. So what I'm going to do is line it up right there and I'm gonna take my glue my glue gun fully loaded and I'm just gonna go across here now take your time but don't take too long because this glue stick will dry really quick Okay, so now we're on to part two. Part two is you're gonna take the end of the boa. Now make sure it's not the, the end that has this big knot right here where they tied it off. Make sure it's not there. But of course, when you first start off with a new boa, you will have the knot on each end, but what you're gonna do is just cut it. But leave that end alone, just have one free. And you're gonna locate that black knot, that black, um, tie that they have in there, the rope, and you're going to make sure that you place that bowl on that. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to load this again first. Okay, now what you're going to do is the side where you see all of that red at or whatever you have. If you have a new shoe, then I'm not expecting you to do this. 
but I'm doing it in patches and I'm going to go ahead on and take make sure that I have the rope part so it can lay on here really good and you're just going to place it right there and you're going to press 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 you're going to press really 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 firm on it now be careful because your hands can get through this and get burned so please be very very careful like it's on my fingernail and it burns like the dickens but I'm used to it so then what you're going to do is fold it over let's move this okay now the boa is here and you see the shoe so what you're going to do is just bring this over with the glue fold it over with the glue so I'm not going to skip any steps I'm going to make sure that I show you completely make sure you get at the tip of it take small sections y'all because it will dry quick so you might want to take small section with yours but I done made a couple of these so I'm going to locate that rope and I'm going to make sure that that rope goes all the way across make sure that you and now yes it's going to cover all of that but make sure that you have that rope down on that glue gun where the glue is now I'm going to lift it back up again because we still have this side now holding this end where we had the glue at because we don't want that that's not all the way dry I'm hoping you can see it because all of this is like really black. So we're going to continue to go all the way over until we reach the end of it. Locate the rope and continue to lay your feathers. It looks crazy at first, but we're going to trim. Now, the first one that I do, I am going to cut the rope. So, like so, this is what you have. So far, this is what you have. Now, remember, we are going to be doing some trimming because if you can see this, I trimmed it on the sides and everything. So, you have this. Make sure everything is down really good. I'm going to go back in with my glue stick and I'm going to just lay down parts that I know that I haven't laid down like some of the feathers you might want to go in and just put something there some glue there and just lay it so they can lay just a little bit more support for you okay so the next thing we're going to do is locate the rope and we are going to go from this side all the way over starting really really close to where we were let me cut some of this so you can see it okay so starting here all the way across we're going to put the glue again so all the way on the edge locate the rope and lay it oh I just burnt my finger again so what we're gonna do is go all the way across and then I'll be right back Okay, now this next part, what I'm going to do, because this is the second part right here, we done went across two times. I'm going to fold this one and I'm going to go over. But what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to make sure I have a lot of glue here to fold over. And you're just going to put it at an angle. And you're going to wait for a minute before you do anything else just at the angle 
and just press down really, really hard. Not firm, but really hard. Now, because we still have the end of this. You see that red? We want to cover that. Well, I want to cover it. You may have a fresh shoe, but I want to cover that. I'm going to lay it and I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to press down really, really hard. So, the end of it is when I go right here and then I'm done. Side of your slipper anything that feels loose under it just go ahead on and uh, reinforce it with some glue okay mine's feeling really nice so stay tuned this is what this looks like now this don't look nowhere near this but this is what this looks like but we're about to give this a haircut stay tuned for the next part Okay, so this is what we have. Now, if you have like some discolored, discolored, like blue or anything mixed in here, red, any color you have that you don't want, it's not black, just remove it. So this is what this looks like. We are fully dry. I have waited a couple of minutes. And what we're going to do is give this old girl a haircut. Give them a little shake. And basically, we are done. So I'll be back to show you how they look on my feet. All right, ladies. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please comment down below what you think about my little afro, little sandals, the little fluffy ones. It's another way you can revamp your, your shoes, recycle them, y'all. Don't throw them away. I got tired of the red, so I wanted some black. And this is a way to cover them up. So be blessed and not stressed. And J-Baby is signing off. <laughs>